Hi, beautiful Sunday here in Minnesota. Got to play golf with my friends today. Neil and Mark and Mike and Pat. So we had a good time. Yeah, we had five golfers. But it was slow out there early in the morning, so they let us play. Halftime of the Vikings game. My Vikes are losing, darn it. So I want to talk to you real quick about your kids' education. Now maybe you don't have kids, or maybe you have cousins, or nieces, or nephews, or maybe you're going to have kids, or maybe you even have an older kids. It's never too late to start working with them on their financial education. Kids at different levels, it's hard to get their attention span if, you, if they're younger kids. I've tried. I had two kids, and they're grown up now, and they're doing good in life, but you know when they were younger, I tried to offer them money to read certain books to help them with their financial education. What could you do to help your kids with their financial education? A few things is you can play games with them. Robert Kawasaki has a great game called Cash Flow. Check that out on richdad.com. Another good game to play is the good old Monopoly. I don't know if you can read that or not. But this Monopoly Empire game, it's a newer version of Monopoly. And it's a really cool game. Help your kids with the education. A couple of good books is this one. I don't know if you can read it or not. It's called Rillionaire. And it's by Farah Gray. And then another good kid, a book to get your kids to read is Rich Kid, Smart Kid by Robert Kawasaki. So, some good fun things to do to help your kids get a head start. I don't think the schools do a good enough job on giving our kids any type of financial education. I don't even know if they cover how to balance a checkbook or the importance of living debt free. I know there's good debt and bad debt and that's a whole different philosophy or different talk for another time. But I've seen debt really pull people down. I've seen people afraid to go to their mail because there would be bills in it. I've seen people afraid to answer the telephone because they thought it was a debt collector calling. I've seen people afraid to answer their door thinking somebody's at their door that wants money. That's no way to live. You're, they're, they're stressed out. They've told me they're not able to eat. Of course, if you want to lose weight, it might be a good way. But, you know, who wants to be stressed out? Why not enjoy life? But when you get debt and, and buy things before you have the money, you, you just it really is a bad situation to get into. I should listen to my dad because my dad was always stressing, only pay cash for things. Don't get in debt. I didn't listen to him, and uh, there for a while I had a lot of debt. Thank goodness I don't anymore. And now I like helping other people to get out of debt if they have got themselves in a situation. And I sure want to help people to help their kids not get into those situations. The sooner people can invest money, the better chance that they'll be able to retire or retire even earlier. Who wants to keep working till they're 80 or 90 years old, even if your health holds up that long? So check those ideas out. Try doing, making it a game or incentive for your kids to play the games or to read the books. So hope this was helpful to you. I'm going to get back to watching the Vikings. Hopefully they'll come back second half. Until we talk again, please visit my website, millsway.com or millswaynetwork.com. And have a great day.